Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Oh, the lizards are dead. It was a brutal battle, but you made it through somehow. Somehow. Somehow, yeah, somehow. Missiles firing. Mod being had. Now, I just spend like 12 minutes just orsoning the rock. <laughs> Describe the visuals and the audibles um, of you orsoning the rock. Okay. Can I be like, I'm, I'm handing I try to play like... patty cake with the rock for like 12 minutes. <laughs> and every so and often, an orson goes off. It's just like patty cake, patty cake, bakers, heal yeah. men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can, but not one of <laughs> Mo's. He's, he's yeah, doing yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. I'm just sitting there, still pretty pissed off. You've got a, a pretty big gaping wound in your side, Rock. You know, this is a... Yeah. He, here, like, yeah, here's some, like, here's some mod it's a gaping like... wound, and it's just slowly, oh, slowly okay. getting smaller as I play patty cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how much... How 12, much do you heal plus 12. Oh, oh, you give it. You give me all. Very well. Yeah, he, go, he goes deep. He knows the way. Mm. I know the oh way. Oh my god. <laughs> he knows the way. So, while you're waiting, while this patty caking is going on, you can take a look around this room. It's about 20 feet wide and maybe 40 feet long. On the walls are what uh you know what so you, victor you're a noble you recognize that there's like mounts on the walls where you would probably have held like animal heads but the animal heads and like the the wood that they're stuck on have long ago rotted away and disappeared and it's just like the the undercarriage of the contraptions there that run the length of this hallway or this room um <clears throat> the the floor except for the blood stains and the area that's been turned to mud has been swept clean uh fairly immaculately it looks like someone has been keeping this area up the back of it has a doorway there there's not much of a door there anymore instead there's just like a fur that has been somehow like tacked or nailed into the uh stonework of this room there are uh small what looks like they were probably benches or altars or some sort of like stone surface that sits one underneath each of the areas where the heads would have been. Um, these areas have not quite been so well kept up. You can definitely see wear and tear. Uh, there's signs of like, well, they were probably once quite square, but now they're quite curved on the side facing in. So maybe people have been leaning against it or sitting on it or like rubbing against it, but the, the stone has worn away pretty heavily. Um, yeah, that's what a shame. What a shame. That's all there is in this room that you can see. So we're still looking for books, right? The scripts of Caldonia. Mm -hmm. Like any, like dating back to uh, this. So maybe we should just look at the um, lizardman first, like the caster. See if like he carried any. Uh, I'm not sure if he would, like, care too much, but perhaps we should check his person, at least. Sure. Uh, surrounding the caster, uh, surrounding his whole body, are, like, bits of branches and twigs and bark that seem to have, like, grown over and around him, covering all of his person. Uh, anything that might be like he might have stuff underneath this but he's covered in bark you could sit here for a while and rip the bark off of him um mm. or whatever yes probably not and maybe like look for any kind of clues where one has like stored uh sure all right guys let's look for clues perhaps. all right everybody perception checks no i put my armor back on okay it's cooled down by now so there's oh. like not much in this room other than the lizardmen sitting here. There's the lizardmen, the spots on the walls where heads used to be, these table thingies kind of below the heads, and then the doorway on the opposite end that has a fur covering it. You assume it's a doorway. It looks like a, you know, like a hippie curtain if hippies used fur instead of beads. I tried to locate my daggers, but... Give I... it to me, Neil. Yes, it's a lost cause. You um, went to communes where hippies used animal skins as doors? No, no, no. If hippies used animal skins for doors instead of beads. 
Because you know how like they've got the beaded, beaded curtains. Well, they're lizard men, you know. So it's the same beaded curtain thing. See, this is the inverse racism where I'm talking about the lizards as they relate to hippies instead of the goblins as they relate to baboons. Um. So what you're saying is that the hippies are worse than lizards. Got it. What you're saying is the hippies were vegan. No, the lizard men were vegan. At least vegetarian. Okay. No, I wait. Don't... No, they're using animal fur, so they're not vegetarian or vegan. The hippies <laughs> probably are. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on the hippie. I've known a lot of meat eating hippies in my, my life. My comment still stands. Right. Uh, Howard, you, that's a beautiful perception check there, I man. Know. That's great. Go. Uh, you scour every inch of this room looking for anything that could be interesting or standing out of place, maybe a secret room or a secret passageway. Uh, you take a look at all those little mounts up on the walls, looking for something that could be tucked away in one of them. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, uh, one of these mounting areas has like a little bit of chipped away rock. And you notice that they're back stashed inside is a little scrap of parchment. Okay. While I take the part. Wow, what does it say? If uh, I can. Do you speak old Drekus or old common? Mm, just the Kuban. Nope. Darn. Well, it's the only. <laughs> That's only good piece one. Of uh, I just take a bit of, you know, I just take that bit since it's the only piece we've had writing on. Mm hmm. And. I look behind that little curtain? Uh, there is, yet again, another passageway that extends into a square room beyond. Um, and this square room seems to have bookshelves and bookcases on it, uh, and is filled with all sorts of paper materials. Just, Neil, just to make sure I'm not misinterpreting, has this place been remarkably clean for a lizard men den? Yeah, the floor here is remarkably clean. I don't know about for a lizardman den, but for an old abandoned ruin that's partially underwater, this room has been well maintained. Not the passageway leading up to it, but this room has been well maintained, and the room beyond has been well maintained. Mm. Does it seem odd to anybody that lizard folk are so careful about maintaining a library? Yeah, probably, but you know. I does anyone know if they're literate? Mm. Well, I know there's no way we can even communicate with them without magic, so. But, uh. Alright, well, I'll get looking through the books. Are, like, all the books in good condition? Uh, no. Not all of them, but many of them are. So I guess uh, Howard and I are the only ones who are literate, right? Yes. And like, also, yes. during this whole searching process, Neil, I will cast Detect Magic and just look around these areas. Yeah, I was wondering if this was magically maintained. Uh, it is not magically maintained, no. Are there any magical books or items in here? No, there are no items of magic in here. Um, so, you guys speak common. And when we say you guys are speaking yeah. common, it's the common language in here. You're actually speaking Drekus, uh, or Drekinian. Uh, the, these books are all written in, like, the old version of the language, which has not... Like, there's still bits and pieces of it that are legible, right? Like, there's some words that haven't changed that much, and clearly the, the sentence structure hasn't changed at all. So you can sort of, like, piece together little bits here and there about things. Okay, um, Neil. Um, sorry to drop but... Uh... Like, I have the uh, heraldry this morning. Like, I see any kind of books, like, like stand up, like, the markings or anything. Yes. Like... Um, near the front, there are actually six books in, like, in, on a shelf with a, a nice little geode bookend on either side of them. Uh, and you've noticed symbols of heraldry across all six of them. Um, opening them up, they look like they are books of, uh, like, lines of nobility in here right. i want to say like these are the uh items that probably we are looking for so i want to like you know uh, carefully like pocket them and 
Sure. You know. Each each book weighs about eight pounds. There are these heavy, dusty tomes. Actually, I take it back. They're not very dusty. They're these heavy, leather-bound tomes with brittle parchment inside that you need to be very careful when moving. Um, you've like crumbled up one or two pages by accident by turning a little bit too quickly. You know, they're thousands. They're a thousand years old at the least. Fifteen hundred years old okay. at the least. I think um, I don't want to necessarily give them to the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, how strong are you Howard I got 14 I, I'm just under light encumbrance okay. I oh. suggest we split the difference maybe I, uh, I have 13 strength so Perhaps we should check to once that we got this entire place cleared, and then once we do, then we could bring in Hody and load him up. He's a donkey. He's here to carry things specifically. I think your donkey is probably not in the ruins, Mo. Yeah, we didn't discuss where the donkey is, but yeah. I kind of feel like we would put him in the first room when we go into dungeons. Sure. That's usually not down the stairs or anything, and it's... These are very delicate books, Mo. I, uh... Well... Which is why we should give them to the donkey and not the rock. That's true. Mm. We, need, we need someone with a little more respect for literature. They're, I mean, like I just donkey, throw it in a bag. I think anyway. I probably would like, would like to at least hold one book by myself, and like not, uh, you know, just like protect it with my body. Like just, this is very important, obviously. Um, is there any like that that denotes any kind of like, like a royal seal? Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, do you actually notice the royal seal of the family that's been ruling Drekus for a long time here on the on what looks okay. to be volume one of this series? All right, I, I want to like you know keep that for myself, like try to like you know protect it with my my life basically. I wonder if there's anything in there that says that they don't actually rule Drekus, and that the princess once she gets it. We'll squirrel it away so no one can see it again and then want to kill us all. Uh, then, wow. Why would they when we just don't speak old common? So she did seem to we we thought maybe she wanted to see if we did speak old Drekken, but maybe she wanted to make sure we didn't. Oh look, I like just pull out another book like here's a book about cake. <laughs> 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 uh, I give I give it to to Mo. Like here you go. Like So Neil mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to find the best books that I can from what little I understand of what they say. Sure. Uh, and I'm going to carry Give me an intelligence each. check, please. Well, Neil, why couldn't you choose wisdom? Well, because we're doing intelligence based skill right now. Okay. Well, you can do it. I believe in you, Howard. You're gonna roll an at twenty on this. Nail. You can do it, Howard. You can do it. I mean, you rolled a twenty-sided die. That's close to a nat twenty. Um, Simon, can you also give me an intelligence check? I sure can, Neil. I want to read one too. Oh. I am. A bit uh, woo, all right. Uh, Victor, you definitely find the word Caldonia, or something that would probably be read as Caldonia in Old Brekus, in Old Common. Mm -hmm. um, Can I try to read one too? Sure. All right. 11. Let's see. Oops. Oh, yeah. Um, so you find a different book that also, in its title, mentions Caledonia in some way or another. Okay. I find a book. You find a book? All right. I'm going to pick it up, look at it, and be like, hmm. Okay. And hand it to them. 
I'm going to go back. I'm going to find another book and keep doing this until they tell me to stop. <laughs> How many right. books does it take before you guys tell them to stop? This like, one says something about Beowulf and journeying far to... No, Beowulf. that's not what you want. I feel like we should get many young students and force them to read this. Okay. This is, like he asked right. me a book about like, you know, uh... What, one more time around the table, interrupting Victor for a moment here with the perception checks. Okay. One more perception checks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is there one more in here? Nope. I nope. Don't think so. Oh God. <laughs> um, oh wait. The wizard eats us. Uh, wait. This is not good for you guys. What's up? Rob, I thought you rolled okay, a fifteen on perception. What? I thought you rolled fifteen for perception. Oh yeah, that was my, that was an intro. I sorry, I just hit uh. the. I, oh, I was, so I so just, you uh, actually have a, a twenty-two on your perception check then? Yes. Thank you. Good job. You guys all probably would have died um, if you failed that. The integrity of the structure just doesn't collapse on us. No, uh, halfling. While these people are busy, well above your height, looking at books, holding them well above your head, and you know you can't even reach most of them, and there's, you know. Wait a minute, what's that sound coming back from that room we were just in a moment ago? There's something back there. They're all arguing amongst themselves. The Rock is handing them books and like, no, it's not what we want. No, hey, hey what about guys. this? Do you think this could be Kelda? That's not what you want, Rock. And they're kind of like ignoring you. And... Hey, you guys, just the lizard books. that rules this place and makes sure the lizard men don't use these books for toilet paper is sneaking up behind us. What? Do you guys what? pay any attention to this this Mo who's yes, been babbling I'm... for ages at you about Ooh. nonsense the whole way here? If he's giving us because a warning of hey, there's something coming, yeah. If he okay. starts talking like, as... like anything about just like the time he came, you does know, the, I uh... my mother was coming home from the shopping mart or whatever, then does just... the cat notice anything? No, it, the cat's asleep. It right definitely now. takes me like a now. moment to realize. Oh crap, no, that's actually bad, so I'll grab my sword and just start. All right, you got, uh, who's the first one back into the other room? I think it's Rock, by the sound of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rock, you push past the animal skin and come maybe 15 feet away from a very small black dragon. Uh, let's say hatchling or wormling sized black dragon. You know, each category somewhere between one and three. Um, and let's just roll for initiative right away. I see that. I'm just like, oh, crap. <coughs> oh, no, I almost rolled a d20. Woohoo! Rolled low on initiative. Oh, don't worry, Neil. So did I. <laughs> Dragon. I like the sarcasm. <laughs> Couldn't have rolled I... lower. <laughs> How I definitely go first. It's quite small. It can fit through these hallways. You know, it's A not three like a foot wide hallway. Uh, if a person can walk through it, the dragon can walk through it. Yes. I mean, where do you think you're? Why do you think this room is so clean? Mo is on to something. Mo was onto something very much indeed with that. Hey, why are these areas so clean? Maybe someone here is protecting these books. Maybe people should listen to Mo. Maybe. You know, someone in chat called it, like, then, right away. Well, I mean, anytime you go into a swamp area, someone's going to say Black Dragon. You know, so I, I don't really take those into consideration. That's not a, a true calling. That's just like swamp equals dragon, you know? Also, somebody, I don't know, if you actually did a planning session for this. No, there was no planning session. I thought of this this morning while we were doing yoga. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah. Neil, I think like, the rising sound like, you're like, ah, oh, black dragon. Before you it's know much it, Neil, more like, I don't want to get out of bed. Don't make me get out. And my wife's like, come on, Neil, it's time to do yoga. And then I come into the hall and grumble, grumble, and then you're like doing downward facing dogs and all this other crap. And you're like, oh, yes. 
Yes. Caldonia, dragon, I get it. That's what we're doing Thank today. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> yes. All right, see, we fought the dragon so that fro fro doesn't happen. And the dragon won? Is that the new song? We fought no, the we fought the, the dragon, dragon and I freaking cut its head off. Well, but we'll I know what I'm doing now. Yes, this is what I've been waiting for. All right, boys, this is going to be tough. It probably will be. Uh, um, let's see, the length crap. is like 20 feet long. That's definitely large. I don't think it's huge. It's size large, then. Um, so it gets plus six to initiative, so it rolls an eight on its initiative. Wait, if it's size large, it was able to fit through three-foot passageways? I mean, it's long, right? The, the body's quite long, but not very wide. Don't worry, I can, like, three-shot this thing. Okay. It goes at eight. Uh, so what's the first thing? It opens its maw and lets out a stream of acid at the only thing in the room, which is the Good rock. Good thing it only hits me. All the Five best. foot wide stream of acid. So Rock, give me a saving throw versus breath weapon. Here we go, boys. Uh... Okay, Neil. I'm going to let you guess whether I pass or save based on you the failed. trend of all of my saving throws oh, you this entire session oh, he where failed. I narrowly, narrowly fail every single one. I needed to roll a 13, kids. How, and I how many dice 12. does this sound like? like More than what a... 10. <laughs> oh Actually, my god, what is this dragon? You shitty piece of... This is doing less damage than the, the double or triple crit or whatever. You crappy ass... You just actually, it's it's the same mark. 64 that you took before, but it's 64 plus three, but instead of rolling well, it rolled crap. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 16 points of acid damage that plus just like six. blasts you in the chest. That's like half your remaining HP, isn't it? Yeah, it's, exactly it like eats remaining. through your armor, it corrodes your flesh, it splashes across you, damaging whatever facial hair you might have had a moment ago. Probably none. I think Rock keeps a clean shave. Okay. He's, he's going for the older basketball style where they don't have beards. Got it. Well, that is the dragon's turn. Uh, Halfling, Mo, you're first. So I get to run first? Sure, but the dragon's between you and the exit. There was, was there, were there passages that go deeper? No, you were at the furthest back end of this. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna um, do, Mo? Well, I mean, I, I'm uber dead if that thing breathes on me or looks at me. Um, I don't think it'll have that much trouble hitting me. So you're just gonna sit out this entire battle? Are there any good places to hide? Oh yeah, there's bookcases. I mean, it's in the pre -ro previous room. You were in this room. Maybe you can just sit out the battle here. Maybe it won't come in, unless it kills all of your allies, and then you're just stuck fighting a battle, a dragon by yourself. I'll um, grab all the important books we found and put them in a protected place so they don't get splashed by acid during the battle. All right, you start collecting books from people. Next up is Victor. Good boy. Okay. What do you do, Vic? Uh, I'm a bit out of my league here, I think. But... So this is a, it's a large dragon, is it? Yep, size large. Like watching as the rock gets splashed by acid. But, um, hey, at least the wound's probably clean now. Right. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Always look. You're you're behind I, uh, the rock, so you just kind of like see the acid splash, and maybe he stumbles to the side a moment, and you can see the dragon in the other room. Okay, so against my better judgment, I'm. I will try to position myself so my rapier gets like under its wing, like try to like get into a soft spot. 
Okay. You push past the rock, step gingerly over the acid, come to the flank of the dragon, who turns his head hissing at you as you make your attack. All right. Nope. Oof, no, it scrapes off of the scales. Howard! All right, I'm going to go right up to the front of the dragon. Uh, it's still kind of looking at Victor, so I'll give you a flank on it. Nope. <laughs> You're... <laughs> no. Uh, Rock, you finally recovered from the acid blast. Your friends have pushed past you and are like, one's in front of it, one's on the right side of the dragon, and here you are kind of like standing, soaking in acid. What are you going to do? Are my friends running? No, they're fighting. Except for Mo. No, okay. Mo's nowhere to be seen. I'm right, whatever. Who cares? the books for the mission. It's Duncan time! You hit it. You do not crit it. That's fine. Let's bring that 3d6. 3d6. Ooh. That's some pretty good damage right there. I guess a large creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 3d6 against large is a two-handed sword. Nice. Nice. Uh, you slash heavily into its front shoulder. It rears back, hissing at you as we roll initiative for the next round. Oh, it looks like Howard's going first. <laughs> Mo's that definitely thing. going first. Howard. Howard, damn it. Howard, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm doing my best to make sure I get its attention and keep its attention on me as best I can. Well, it's gonna be a little hard. The rock just dealt a I, huge crippling blow. To I it. realize, but I'm probably like trying to bitch slap it with my shield across the face. All right, give me a bitch slap attack with your shield. Like that's like my sword attack and bitch sure. slap is just d20. Nope. All right, so you're you, you you see this? You see this? You're not being very threatening. The dragon's not too concerned with you. Victor, you're next. No, but I disrespected it. That's true. Uh, that's like true. trying to like bitch slap and trying to like yeah. Not only did I bitch slap it, I poorly bitch slapped it. He's trying to distract. Yeah, like, you I, did in, poorly. In that moment, like I tried to like uh, push my rapier, like uh, to try to blind it. <laughs> only there was time for me to bake some sour root cakes and then bake <laughs> them to the dragon. Oh. You single credit, Victor. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. Large creature? Yes, uh. So 2d8 for rapier plus one. Nice. Only plus one? Aren't you specialized with the rapier? Oh, you're right. You should get plus two to damage. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, yes, so a total of plus three then, actually, because rapier is like a d6 plus one, right? Oh, so then it should be. Mm. The standard? I don't. Hold on, I gotta. Gotta look up. Because we're using like, for shenanigans, we're using like the second, we're using base rules, then we're also using skills and powers, combat and tactics, and we're also using two point meal. So it sounds like your rapier is based off of the combat and tactics rapier. So let me go look in the combat and tactics to see what this rapier damage is because shenanigans uses lots of different rules simultaneously, even when they override each other. Uh, so no, it should just be 2d8 plus two. That's my name, simultaneously. <laughs> Simultaneously. That's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> All right, 2d8 okay. plus 2. 12 damage. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you skewer it pretty badly. It hisses, reels back, and it's its turn. Uh, it's not... It doesn't have any spells, so it's going to distribute its bite and claw attacks. Ooh. All right. So the first All one... Right, so, oh, yeah? so, Neil, I, I just, just want to declare as, as we go along... Um, so I'm going at the end, but my my attack, I'm basically waiting for the dragon's mouth to be open. Mm, okay. Yeah. So how's it gonna do this? Uh, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a claw at Howard, right? The, the the left front leg is gonna swipe, not Howard, Victor. Swipe at Victor, who just hit it, okay. with a hold on, let me figure out what it is. Bonus to hit is. 
Uh, with an 18 <laughs> against Victor. Uh, 20 AC. Ooh, no good. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to take a claw attack at the rock with, ooh, with a 25. So did the acid affect my I want to say your armor is providing half AC because it took a full acid blast to the chest. All right, AC? so then I have one five AC. Okay, so this clears by 10 exactly. So, so is it's that a, a single crit? It's a single crit. Oh, okay, I think I can survive that. Yeah, only 2d6 plus three damage. I can survive that. Uh, you take 13. It hits you. Do you look pretty badly off? You look pretty bad, don't you? Oh, I look pretty bad. Oh, does it? You, who does it use its bite on? You already, oh, Neil, you already said it. it. He distributed. You already said I didn't he distributed. say he distributed against everyone. I, he's at least you just, you said he attacks. distributed it evenly. I did not say that. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's have it bite at Howard. Ooh. Uh, Howard, how's a, uh, a, a 27 looking on you? Uh, that'll crit. That'll crit? It, it's a, how much does it clear that'll, by? Less than 10. That's oh, crit. single crit, okay. So we are doing a lot of damage against Howard here. Like a 46? No, like 66 plus 3. Uh, but you know, it didn't roll all that high. Uh, that's 10. That's 23 damage to a bite on Howard. I am at negative 1. Okay. It <sighs> chomps Howard. And that is when Mo, as the dragon's like, writ, like tossing Howard to the side and goes back to like hiss at the rock or Victor when Mo throws his dagger. No, I don't throw my dagger. Oh my God, what's he doing? I throw a pound of soap right down its throat. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Roll the hit. Yes, oh. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> you yes. do it. Against all odds, you hurl your bar of soap and the dragon, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my and a bubble God. floats as it hiccups for a moment. Hashtag acid base reactions, baby. Oh boy. Hashtag kitchen chemistry. Uh, yes, a string of bubbles will slowly start emanating out of its mouth over the next few rounds. It's a baking Hashtag soda vinegar sort of thing. Plus acid. Mm -hmm. uh, let's roll initiative for the next round. Oh, uh, no, no, Neil, I never no. win. Oh. Second. oh, the rock gets to go and Victor gets a second attack. Mm -hmm. Rockets two attacks. So Rockets one attack, Victor gets one attack, Rockets one other attack. 15's a miss. Oof. Go, Victor. Victor. Take both of yours. Oh, you get one He only gets one. Oh, oh. You're right, he gets one. No, it just scrapes against the scales. Rock. Oh, oh. oh. my oh. god. My god. Jeez. Right, you clear <laughs> by 12, so roll three times damage dice. So please roll me three, six, Nine. D six. Nine D six plus five. It could what? live. It's possible. It's not going to though. Uh, wow. It had twenty one HP remaining, so you bring it down to negative fourteen. All right, and at this point, Victor, no, heal Howard now, and I'm gonna cut this thing's head off. All right. Uh, it's kind of already split slightly down the the like the forehead through the neck is kind of cut. <laughs> So you, you can cut it, but it's like, it's gonna be like a, a forked lizard tongue of a head, you know? So the, even the to tongue is forked even further, but it's a mess. Uh, let's quickly focus on Howard. Victor and Mo. Howard is dying. Shit. What are you gonna do? Uh, what would that be like to stabilize him? Intelligence mm -hmm. check. Only one person can try it around though, because it takes a whole round to stabilize. What's your intelligence, Mo? Uh, mine is 11. I have a 12. I'm gonna so try it. All right. Victor comes and tries to piece Howard back together. And you know what? You can do it. You can stop the bleeding. There He's in bad, bad shape. Uh, and you've got a long journey through the forest. Thank God you've got a donkey and some horses to carry him. Yeah. Good Speaking thing we do. of, 
I'm gonna look at them. All right, you guys you, go you get books. You hear the whinnying of horses outside. <laughs> Did Lizard Man that do uh, that Galloway or beforehand? Fight. Mm. Did Wait, we didn't. Oh. What are you gonna do? We did bring horses. It's almost as if we were bait. Mo, can you go out in there and check? You can be a lot sneakier than I can, especially with my arm. We, I have we, to we were, right now. We propellered. We roundy roundy. <laughs> we roundy roundy. You guys realize that roundy right. roundy is just any description for anything that spins, right? Yeah, roundy roundy, pushy pushy. Okay, good, good. Just making sure <laughs> we're calling. I think uh, I think Mo had all the books, right? Because like you said, like he, he was hid collect- them in the yeah in the previous room, tucked them around yeah, the corner somewhere. I, I can barely carry anything, given that my this, armor this is game, just give, uh, most of, give them most to me. Give, give most of them to me. Like I try to like maybe. Well, they're dicking around with that. Howard. They've got Howard healed up. I'm gonna start cutting the scales off this dragon. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go sneak up and check out the whole horse situation. All right. Uh, what is your move silently check? Uh, yeah, that, that's a question. Do you roll this? Do I roll this? I will roll it, but what's your modifier? Move silently is nine. That's nice. Okay. And hide you, is 11. Cool. You creep down the hallway, uh, back up the spiral staircase, and you see that currently the two horses are dead. Uh, they look like they've been eaten by a dragon, partially. The donkey uh, is the thing that's making the noise, and that's because two lizard men are currently standing at it, probably talking. They're just kind of like flicking their tongues back and forth at each other without saying anything. Maybe this is how lizard men speak, you're not really sure. But they each one of them has the rein on one side of the donkey's head, and the donkey's kind of freaking out, and lizard men are going yeah. at each other. How They're good probably I like my donkey expecting the dragon like to come back up in here. Yeah. So I'm guessing Hody isn't in actual physical danger right now because that would be endangering the dragon's snack as far as they know. That's a, a bold guess. All right. Um, I will sneak on back down and tell them what I see. I have an idea. You know, if you threw the dragon's head out there, is there oh, I was thinking of just like carrying it under my arm and then walking out there, dropping it, pulling out my sword and yelling really, really loud. I'm I'm guessing you could be their new god. That's the idea. I guess I'm like just carrying the books at this point, like trying to like you know. Yeah, valuable books that uh, the princess wanted. So, with the head under arm and a pocket full of scales and the books in tow, you guys make your way back towards the entrance. I do not have a let, pocket, let a the pocket rock full of scales. First, carrying his I have head. as many of the scales as I could cut off. Hopefully, the idea to make some armor with it. I mean, Mo's only been gone for like a minute or two, right? So you can only scale a dragon so much in a minute or two. Okay. They're hard yeah, scales okay. to break. The scaling is interrupted, and we'll scale more later. All right. Do we carry Howard? How do we carry Howard? He's unconscious. Howard, how much does your character weigh plus all of your gear? Total total weight. Um, I don't want to forget him. He's six foot and lean. I. Honestly, don't know what the weight would be, but he's like a pretty skinny. Uh, guy. six foot and skinny, so we could say like 150 pounds. I'd be pretty skinny for six feet tall. And then I've got like 50 pounds of gear, so like 200 okay. total. 200, perfect. Uh, you guys can probably drag 200 pounds. It sounds like between the three yeah. of you. Easy. Well, so I'll be like, between wait the here. Two of you. Yeah. Like <laughs> you guys realize this is a huge gamble right now. Like, this is the worst felt I've felt in almost a year well it's not like it's going to get any better you know yeah right. things can only but get worse from here so you better move quickly true, before reinforcements show up kind of worse all right so yeah i'll go up i've got like the freaking dragon head under my left arm i've got my i say wait, i've got an idea you see Disguise is a skill that rogues have, and cosmetics is a thing that Neil has in the economics guide. 
let's just touch you up here a little bit, cover a little concealer for those wounds. There you go. Now you look much less dead. You give him a Excellent. little bit of color in his face, you know. Um, so, Rock, you're, you're coming yeah. up? Yeah. All right. And what do they do when they see me trudge through the thing with the dragon head in my uh, arm? They drop the reins of the donkey and skitter back to the lake. Can I get a perception check from you, Rock? As you're, like, yeah. walking out with this dragon head under your arm and you see these critters skittering away. You know what? You watch them go into the lake, and as you do, you see that their tracks cross not one, not two, but three sets of young dragon tracks, one of which came towards your building. I get the hell right back in the building. Like, guys, we need to get the hell out of here. Can you, can you give me, a, like, a hand with uh, Howard here? Like, you like, 200 pounds? Like, can you just, like, can you... All right, here, here's the conundrum, guys. You can carry Howard, or you can carry the dragon head with the donkey, but not both. I can carry the dragon head on my back. Can you? Do you have enough strength to carry a dragon head on your back? I don't, honest, honestly, Neil, I have not been keeping track of my weight for an entire year. Oh God, okay, <laughs> hold on. You have 17 strength? 17 strength, so I know I can carry like uh, Neil, he's the rock. Ten. He's the rock, but a dragon's head with like the neck and everything is a pretty big, it's a lot of weight I here. assumed like I cut off the head like as close to the skull as I could. Right. We're still talking a, a pretty right. hefty thing and you've got your armor and you've got all your gear. You can carry 220 pounds. 20 pounds. What is the, what is all of your, what are you wearing? What's your armor? Let's see. I was wearing splint mail. Now that That's changed. That's like 50 pounds. Uh, you've got like three swords, yeah. each of which are 10, was. five pounds? Uh, splint is yeah. three times. I'd say, I'd say my armor is like slowly getting less weight. Yeah, and you got some clothes. Mm -hmm. You've got a got backpack. Some clothes. I got a rock. You've got, how, uh, how big is your rock? It's a big rock, right? It's like a I 20 think you pound. told me it's like 10, 10 pound rock. 10, 15 pound, all right, we'll give it a 10 pound rock. Yeah. Um, what else do you have on you? I've got a mask, which is pretty much weightless. Pretty much weightless. I've got some rope. Oh yeah, so I've you got, got like eight gems. pounds of rope. I got boots. We just assume that I throw those Threads in there. With the... blah, blah, blah. Um, you got probably some water skin on you. It may not be on your character sheet, but you've got to have water skin on yeah. you, otherwise you're not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I do. That's um, probably not. We didn't talk about food. Method. but You probably got some amount of food. Okay, so without food or anything else, it's at ninety-two pounds. Let's say the head. As close to the scale as you head base of it that you can hold, because remember it got split down the center too, so you gotta like cut a little farther. It's probably like 50 pounds. So it's within your oh, yeah, capacity to carry. You're at 142, but the thing is the encumbrance. How quickly will you move? Like we'll this? be fine. Let's take a look. That's true. You gotta consider that the gods may want to find any way they can to make give you a Sophie's choice between saving the dragon and saving Howard. All right, so you would move at medium speed if you carry the head. You'd move at a half speed if you carry the head with you. Half speed? Half speed. Mm -hmm. What if I dropped one five pounds? Just close the page. Uh, well, then you would have oh, a best-selling diet book, I bet. You would, no. You would need to drop 21 pounds. 21, aw. Yeah. Ooh. I could do that with one of my two-handers in the rock. Ooh. I have plenty Wait, don't of Don't you have like three two-handers now? And I yes, have water I, I can share with you. Rock, what are you going to do? You've got this head, but it's going to slow you down. What, oh, how are you going to... Hold on. You're, you're, you're unconscious. I, you're unconscious. Mm -hmm. I know it's frustrating, but that's the it joys of being unconscious. Crap. Guys, so yeah, I saw three tr dragon tracks back there. We, I wanted to stay in freaking what? scale this thing what are you gonna do what are you gonna just, do rock all right what, i'm gonna Victor, i'm gonna drop yeah i'm gonna take yeah. the two hander and just like stick place it like lay it on mm -hmm. the dragon mm -hmm. um, on the dragon's body downstairs spe yeah specifically um it's gonna be the bronze one the ones that I, the one that i haven't used since i have i got the obsidian one sure to be honest the rock 
Dragon scale armor is pretty shitty. It's like AC5, but then you're immune to whatever the dragon breathed. Which yeah, is this was AC. Acid. This was AC6. What I used to. Oh, be. you got a pocket full of dragon scales too. The problem. Yeah, yeah I think that mainly the dragon scale. Only a minute, Neil. You're only used decoratively, mm -hmm. and that's probably and put them on your splint mail or whatever. And that's probably. Yeah, and maybe I can like turn the skull into a really cool helmet. All right. So you're gonna drop the rock and drop a, a sword and take off? You'll be at light encumbrance. You'll be able to move, but you'll still be lightly encumbered if you do that. Yes, but here's how I do it. Is that uh, hallway still muddy? Yes, it will forever be muddy. Excellent. So I'll stick the sword upright in the mud mm -hmm. and then I'll put, a rock, I'll put the rock right in front of it on the dragon side and nice. I'll probably like, drag the dragon around so its head is where that rock is. Sure. What and... if we walked backwards through the mud? <laughs> Just to leave footprints going in but none going out? Yes. And, uh... Uh, yes, Infinity HP. I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter. That's All right. Point. Uh... <laughs> uh... What are you gonna do? Uh, but yeah, no, that's what we do. I like situate. Uh, I get the dragon over there, so it where its head should be. There's that glow rock, um, the sword right in front of it. Situate the uh, dragon head into like a sort of backpack, mm -hmm. and uh, we start dragging Harold up to the donkey. All right. And I think like as I'm situating, I grab like a couple more scales, and I'm like, dang it, I'm just gonna have to use these decoratively. Well, you guys take off. Um, you get you get maybe two minutes away, still kind of pushing yourself through the swampy parts of the the forest, when you can hear the hissing and cries of very very angry angry dragons back in the area you just were, but you manage to escape and flee. You head north, back to Gumpburn, uh, where you can get Howard Rumbus, Rumbus. some medical attention yeah i'll do that and i'll get like get, the, uh, the dragon head i'll get that like taxidermied to get ready to turn mm -hmm. into a helmet sure sure um and since we're kind of out of time we'll just a little fast forward here what, what are you guys doing on your way back um victor uh, you're gonna uh, say uh, something hold um, on victor was about to oh wait yeah, i interrupted like, you earlier Howard. Oh, fuck it. yeah so like Mo, Mo wanted to get like the finger style sandwiches like so like obviously we get him that you know like yeah right it, right it, how are people reacting when I'm just walking around with a dragon head on my back? There is surprise um, and confusion. It's like if you walked around right now with a... Dragon head, head on my back? <laughs> crocodile yeah. head, the alligator head. Yeah, it's head. like you're walking around with a crocodile head. People are like, is that a real crocodile head? Where did that come from? What is he doing with that? He looks like he might have just wrestled a crocodile. I don't know. I'm just going to leave him be. I'm just going to give him a wide berth and just stay. That's weird. Oh, yeah. I'm after like I scared away those guys, I probably like at some point take a bath, like wash all the freaking crap off of me, and I walk into the first town just like with mm -hmm. these insane burn wounds everywhere and just like cut open, and I've got the dragon head on my back, so it's mm -hmm. very clear what mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Howard and Victor, what are you guys doing? As soon as I'm back up to one HP, it's just full complement of healing, so everyone will be probably up pretty quick with nap and healing spells, so. Uh, I think I'm... Um, was I stuck with cradling, like, the books? Yes. I guess? Like, yeah, so, like, it's, like, you know, taking the time, like, you know, to you know, properly make sure they're not, like, you know, manhandled in, in any way, like, just, like, you know, want them to be in pristine. As, as much as I can, condition. Mm -hmm. When the, uh, the uh, tournament to the princess. This Very nice. Maybe we could go to Monko's and make some copies of those. Well, you guys eventually make your way back to shenanigans um, and get in touch with the princess and all that jazz. We can kind of just gloss over the specific details because they don't really matter and there's no challenges. It's just sending messages and waiting and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I totally wanted to do some stuff in Grumpkin, but time's up, so... Time uh, is Grumble up. Wumble. 
You get some finger sandwiches. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, there was a little more than that. But anyway, oh, we'll wow. have to be for another session. We'll, we'll find an excuse to come back here eventually. Uh, the party we'll, arrives. We'll find an excuse to get the rock more of his dragon scale armor. You guys find your way back to Berkshire, back to shenanigans, and uh, deliver the textbooks to the princess. With this, then, with this black circle, I can't tell if we're actually in shenanigans or merely miles away. <laughs> so, Neil, I definitely like know. kick open the door to shenanigans. I've probably done this before, but this time it's like not just a, oh, I'm just too lazy to use it. This is like a, I'm proud. Mm -hmm. You come I'm, busting in the door with a, a dragon's head over your shoulder or like, whatever. Desmond, she should have told us about these. Oh, hey, you found a little dragon. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Let me shake your hand. He comes over and, and shakes your hand and pats you on the back. Congratulations, you guys. You all did this? Well done. It, it was mostly me. Did well, I ever tell yes. you about the well, time I fought I, the great worm dra black dragon that was down in deep wood swamp? I Let me tell you. I kind of the, the rock. I kind of blinded it, you know. Come on. Give, give me some credit. Desmond, oh, no, you definitely did. But the rock is like... <laughs> it was mostly me. Yeah. Desmond immediately launches into his story about, like, the great dragon that he fought, which quickly turns into yeah. him just telling the entire bar. Yeah. And then, like, some of the people probably... watch him and the rest of the bar kind of turns, oh, you just didn't. And, like, you you know, other people come to talk yeah. to you, but Desmond's trying to steal yeah. your spotlight with his stories. He, he probably is, but at some point I probably am just, like, legitimately like, hey, how do I stop this thing from doing this. And I like pointed now on my like super corroded armor. That's probably useless. How do I keep it from this happening? Uh, you need some sort of acid resistance. That's magic stuff. Yeah, I was going to try and kill the other two that were there. But as it turns out, when you're on, when you're on the brink of death and uh, your bro that uh, makes it so you're less on the brink of death has already gone down makes it a little harder so i couldn't stay around and get more oh you got a heal bot too i used to have a heal bot they keep yeah. dying though they just rotate them through <laughs> yep, yeah yep. what you need though is a wizard wizard's gonna help you with that whole acidy thingy i'm sure i'm sure anyway uh, the princess comes through eventually uh takes your books thanks you profusely for it uh uh, Hands Neil, I mean, low, a voucher. Hang on. Yes. hang on. There, there was the whole, um, you know, some time I assume, you know, before the princess would arrive. I right. want to take these, to these books to Waghorts or Waghearts, where I'm guessing there's somebody who can read them, and ask somebody to uh, translate or at least read us some passages, see what these things are about. Uh, so the first six books that you found are a just listings of nobilities and family lineages. So that way you can make sure that you're coming from a certain percentage of nobility because we don't want any dirty peasant in us. So we're going to be very meticulously tracking everybody's relationships to everyone else just to make sure there's no peasantry in us. Um, they, they cover the line of kings from Drekus way back in the day. They also cover... Uh, there is one on the nobility of Caldonia in particular, and then there's like other minor nobles here throughout Drekus and family lines that are long lost. And, you know, it's just books of lineages and books of lineages. Uh, then there are a few other, um, they're, they're history books really, or they are ancient people's contemporary history books, you know? That makes sense. They're old newspapers. Right. Yeah, it's like you, you found a copy of the Aeneid. Okay. You know, like an, the original copy of the Aeneid. And you're like, oh. You said the first six books. Those were so, the... But, yeah, the first six were all heraldry books. Another book that was the real one of importance? There were two other books that mentioned Caledonia, and those two other books are like, you found an original Beowulf and an original Aeneid or whatever. You know, they, these ancient books that people use to keep up the history of the times in the present and then store them away in shelves for all eternity. But nothing here that would seem to reveal why she would want these books and fund this expedition? Um, no. 
But I can show you where you can find answers on that. Frozen Frontier yeah. is a campaign that takes place in Caledonia that is launched out of Southern Drekus. Uh, there is a link between the two of these in that regard. Wow. Hey. Well, I just sort of assumed that that show was leading to this one since this is the flagship show. <laughs> Hashtag we're helping. This is it. We're uh, helping, guys. We're helping. This is the flagship show of Neil's. Uh, yeah. of Neil's entire, entire channel. Yeah. Right yeah. here, guys. But you know, every now and then the flagship show needs to like dip their their hat and pay a little bit of homage to that other measly show off on the side, right? Mm. It's it's yeah. sort of like when Roseanne had Tom Arnold on and tried to act like he was a big star. Ooh, I don't remember that episode, and I watched everything except the last season of Roseanne. Who the hell is Tom Arnold? They had they had at one point Tom Arnold had his own show, and so they literally had the the Roseanne cast like win a trip to Hollywood or something and go see his show. Oh, remember that one? That sounds familiar. It was just like, oh, really? Is that what was going on? Because I remember them like t going to Hollywood, and I didn't understand the context. And I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with this show? Like, why are they there? Like, what's what's the point? Who is this dude? What's going on?" Yeah, that's because it was her husband. Ah, uh, okay. Last season was terrible. <laughs> God. But I highly encourage all of you if you need a good like sitcom to watch. Roseanne is freaking spot on. It's like the it Malcolm of the Middle of the 70s. Made. It was so good. It's the best. It's it's just as good as Malcolm in the Middle, but you know, maybe even better. Darlene's amazing. Malcolm in the Middle is pretty funny. Malcolm in the Middle is pretty funny, but like Roseanne was the original. It's a little bit different though, you know, of course. It's got John Goodman and he steals the show every single episode. It's not nice. And it's got yeah, the, the actress that was Darlene ended up doing a bunch of stuff. Sarah Chalk made an appearance there. I don't remember the other character that Sarah Chalk, the other I have uh, Becky. no idea what you're talking about. It's, it's just a good, it's a good show, man. I, I know what Malcolm in the Middle is, but like, I... Roseanne, I Roseanne, it's, it's a fantastic show. It's like a, you know, blue collar American working family in the 70s. Yeah, it was like the actual authentic blue collar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, instead of like, oh, hi, we're friends in New York and we all live in $10,000 a month apartments. Yeah, no, it was great. I, I recommend it to everybody. Uh, but that is our episode here. You, uh, so The Rock and Howard, you may now add Kel as a prefix on your character sheets to your name. Kel, Kel The Rock. K-E-L. Uh, Victor, your family will be granted lands in Solvik, a different county a principality actually but you know what now you've got land in two different principalities hey that's great that will uh, you know further my cost like becoming the next lord of absolutely uh, schnobbington yeah and you know uh, what if with... your brother somehow takes schnobbington now you have your own lands you know mm -hmm. so you you could double up or you've got your own reserve you're, you're in a good spot here no uh, Mo, you've got a you home. get a voucher that is good until one year from the date that it's handed to you. You can go to any castle, keep, or manor house operated by a noble or lord, and they are obliged to give you however much food that you can eat on the spot. Basically turning every castle, keep, and manor house into an all-you-can-eat buffet for Mo. How wonderful. Now, I was hoping that because this is a special thing beloved of, of uh, halflings and part of their cooking, that perhaps some of these edibles that I get could be made with star leaf, which is a a halfling herb. And now I know that the crown has outlawed it on a national level, and that the the chief justice of the crown has decided that this is worse than just about anything. But you know, a lot of these local lords aren't enforcing this or allowing it for, you know, for purposes of alchemy. And I was wondering if, you know, or maybe even was, just get some star leaf for my own cooking so that I would not have to bother like the in, uh, Wasn't it like a part of like Alejandro's like peg leg? I, 
You had to get Starleaf to get Alejandro's peg leg, I think. Yeah, we, we stole it from the garden in, in yeah. the local manor. Uh, such a shame. Uh, Neil, do, do me and the Rock get to pick last names if we so choose? Uh, no, you're knighted. You're not made into nobles. Sorry. Okay. Uh, would everyone Isn't please take that... home 2,162 that... experience? I killed How a much now? I feel like it should be more than that. 2,162. Plus 10%. Yeah, because the dragon was worth 7,000 on its own. And then the... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot to include the spellcaster lizardman in there. That's an extra... And I and don't forget go. all those 2, lizardmen. 2,250. I... There we go. Don't forget all those lizardmen I scared I, off. I, I, no. I included them. I included them all. What's, what's so the two, total two, five, after 10%? Two four seven five. Two two five zero for everyone that does not have ten percent, and two four seven five for those that do have ten percent. I believe Mo is leveling, at the very least. Yeah, let me check for sure, but I think that is almost literally the maximum I could get. Uh, twice. Yeah, probably is for a thief. Yeah, you're just shy of the max. Um, does anyone else level? Victor, Howard, Rock. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I'm just trying to calculate. No, the total but I'm experience close to I have. fourth level. I don't level, but I'm pretty close. Nice. I Rock. am still. Uh, let's see here. Two zero three zero four. Two zero three zero four. Away from Away? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you see why I'm complaining, saying it should be way more than that. Well, you know, you had to split your experience with four people. Sorry. Three. You had to split it well, between yes. us. Between four. Very nice, nice Howard. Roll. Very nice. good. Um, uh, I wish I had my con back. I only have 40 HP at level four. 40 <laughs> HP at level four. Yes. That's he so... has more HP. Wow. He almost what, has more uh, HP than I do. 40 HP level four. Like, like, I'm, I'm sorry, Howard. Like, that must be... <laughs> So yeah. hard for you to deal with, man. Forty-eight. I would have had more than the. He rock. would have had oh, more no. HP than me. If I had been two comp. levels lower than me. Woo! But then again, if I used. Oh, oh, no. Seven so HP for Rob. Or, uh, con, which still means I total of eight. my hit points. Very nice, Rob. Very nice. Uh, octupled, right? Yep. Yeah. Octupled. Yep. Um, great. Congratulations, everybody. This was fun. And I'm glad you guys succeeded because now I can fold this information into Frozen Frontier whenever nice. I need to. Yeah. Uh, that Are is... we going to? So this entire no, quest was no. just to provide some background for Frofro? I mean... I mean, I'll take that. How should yeah. I say? This quest was to have a lot of fun, and because it was successful, it can also double as background stuff for Frofro. It's great. I mean, I mean if I it was if it failed, then it could provide background stuff for Frofro too. But I mean, a dragon then, was slain I, I to get this information like, to uh, you. like background stuff for like solemn, like back in the day, like which so, like, so basically, oh, Neil, that. we're many Bothans. Yes. 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 You guys are the rogue one of shenanigans or of a uh, Frozen yeah. Frontier. <laughs> A the dragon was slain to, to get, get you this information. information. Right. I was but, really hoping some of you goes. would die during this, actually, but it didn't happen. No. I got you close. No. Wow. It was, it was so way too close. To it was very to obvious you tried to kill us. I just very wanted a hard. real challenge. We haven't had a real challenge in shenanigans in a long time, so this was good. That yeah. was... That was I, I, I thought... Petting a cat is a real challenge. I could die. The cat has superior <laughs> combat well, abilities. Look, you wanted to make a new character for this, and it's a level one character, and that's you know that's the risk you run no, with level one I characters. I just wanted to make a snarky remark about asking for your help to make characters. Now, You're the now, one who escalated. Now, Neil, I want yes. to point out, I did my damnedest to keep the rock alive by making sure to take that bite. And it, it went well you for did. it. You did save the rock's life, because if that had... I mean, that would have straight party. killed him. It would have straight killed the rock. He would have been and dead. The party seized. because he wouldn't have got the attack. I, so. I don't know. I feel like the the dragon didn't have that no. much life left over. Um, it, you, with the rules I've been having, no, Neil. No, 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 Neil. I we mean, it had died. one more round of melee attacks, and then would have could have breathed acid again, but it could only target one of you again. So it would have been close. 
it would have been a party pound of a base in its gullet. That's true. It would have blown a stream of bubbles at you instead of acid, wasting a turn. <laughs> and then, so great. do you understand what base and acid does when you I, mix I, it? I was it in a lot elementary of school. A lot of I, I made volcanoes. I know what's going down. Right. We're not talking it's, blowing bubbles. It's actually bubbles, pretty funny yeah. because, like, uh, like in my like. Cause, like I work with kids, like they're actually building volcanoes. Like, oh, paper mache they... volcanoes. Yeah, that's oh, what we're doing. We're right talking now. a good exothermic reaction inside the dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have gone hot. Well, that's I of mean, course assuming that the dragon stores its acid in its belly, which it doesn't mean it's sure it's got digestive acids in there. But like this acid from a dragon isn't stored in its belly and then barfed up, right? It's a semi-magical process or a magical process to create it. So, mm. anyway, and that's how it you works. can get away saying bubbles go. Yeah. So now I do want to bring one thing up. How much does the rock have to pay slash do to get new splint or something? You can buy new like, armor at regular I've... price. Or can he have it repaired at? No, oh, it's surprised. fucked. You can buy new armor yeah, no, at regular absolutely, price. Absolutely not. All right, then it may be time to Connor. upgrade. All right. Well, guys, this is it. We are done with shenanigans for today. Thank you for playing. This was a lot of fun. I will yep. see you all for, well, I'll see some of you for Fatal One, which starts in an hour and a half. And Ooh, then I'll no see sure. some of you for Frozen Frontier, which starts tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how many hours, but in a few hours. Check it out. All the awesome campaign. And again, spin off like, Frozen Frontier. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, thank you for your oh, words, so. Victor. I appreciate you, even though Rob cut you off. <laughs> trying to help plug my shows, and other people are ruining it. All right, guys. You, what, you mean like shenanigans next weekend Bye. at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific? Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> Have a